planning to sail the Caribbean, I found an abandoned boat here in Hog Island, Grenada, the southernmost country in the Windward Island chain. In the last episode, I faced many challenges to get her seaworthy and welcomed my parents on board. <laughs> Cheers. I had an old vessel with a lot of issues, two inexperienced crew, and had never captained a boat offshore before. It was finally time to set sail, and we were in for some nasty surprises. This is the Caribbean, home to the Leeward and Windward Islands. Over the next few months, the plan was to island hop from Grenada all the way to St. Martin in the north. So the first leg of the journey, the plan was to head out of Hog Island, come around the south of the island and come up Grenada to Cariacou, which is an island in the north of the country. I think about 30 nautical miles. We got the whole boat ready and just before sail, we decided to go on the mainland and take a tour of the island. And we met this really, really cool guy. His name is Ron Dell. He bought us around the island. He told us all about the history. St. George is the capital of the island of Granada. And part of St. George's charm is the influence by first its Spanish, then its French conquerors, and finally its 18th century British overlords. And St. George's, the capital, became an English country town like a well-arranged and friendly place. Grenada is now in the control of a Marxist military council. A brutal group of leftist thugs violently seized power. It has been invaded, the bulk of that force, about 1,800 American troops. Grenada is a lush, mountainous land with volcanoes, hot springs, rivers and lakes. And it also hosts animals not found anywhere else in the region. Welcome to Grenada. We're here in Grand Tang Park with my boy. Shy boy. That's shy, shy boy. boy. Not very shy, shy today, yeah? <laughs> These primates of the Caribbean were only introduced in the 1700s. And Grenada is the only place in the world where wild mono monkeys can be found outside West Africa. Because of its rich soil, Grenada is famously referred to as the Spice Island. Known for its mace, cloves, and cinnamon. But here, this is actual cinnamon, and if you have a smell, it's the freshest cinnamon I ever smell. had in my life. Incredibly, despite its small size, Grenada produces 20% of the world's nutmeg. And back in the 18th century, it was the largest producer of cocoa beans in the world. It is in Grenada that much of America's rich chocolate originates in the form of cocoa beans. And this is how the beans are polished. So the next time you have chocolate, don't feel bad. It's a fruit. It came from this tree. Chocolate is a fruit. When you crack open the pod, you gotta know which fruit to eat. So this is where chocolate comes from. Today, they refine their own chocolate from tree to bar. And it's top quality. So just having a roadie here for lunch, it's one of the most popular dishes here in Grenada. A heavily influenced by India. And what Caribbean island visit would be complete without a visit to the local rum distillery? And my favorite part of the journey was the waterfall. I'm a sucker for waterfalls. It was just a really, really great day. It was the last sunset before our first sail. Cheers. So we just got dinghy across the bay and we're at this little place called, roadside place called Nimrod and this place is so cool. It's a little rum shop, has the most amazing live music setup. Check this out. We had this amazing house band where they had an open mic and I got up and sang a few songs. Sometimes in life you have some trouble But when you worry you make it double, don't worry What a blast, what a blast. Finally, the day came for our first sail.
Alright, let's just take off the line. Dad, how are you doing? Okay, alright, let me know when you feel the force, okay? Alright, yeah, let go, let go. Alright, Sebastian! Give me a hearty. Our first navigation was tricky, as the channel out of the anchorage was narrow and shallow, surrounded by invisible dangers such as rocks and reefs. Alright, Daddy, one turn out to here, towards here. See the red boy? 7 7. Oh, there, though. 6 9. this course. Yeah. Five. We're good, we're good. Now, we get a bit rolly, guys, because we're heading out to open ocean. Head the right direction. Just head towards the wind. It was finally time to put up the sails. Okay, here we go. What the f is holding us there? Something stuck. It's caught in the jack lines a bit. Oh shit, this witch this way. Fuck. Alright, we'll have to do. Right there. Start to turn around. Back towards where we're going. When we came out of the bay in Hog Island, the seas, the Atlantic, wow, it gave me a bit of a shock. Really surprising weather. And it scared the bejesus out of my parents. <laughs> How was that one? Nerve wrecking. <laughs> But then we hit the Lee side, the Caribbean side, and it was quite a smooth journey. <laughs> Ooh, oh look, check it out, dolphins. Oh, I've never fished before. I have a 100 pound line in there. I got a little fake squid at the end of this. Could be this simple. Well, we realized because of our pace, we were going too slow, that we'd have to stop off for the night. So we stopped off in this place called Dragon's Bay. So fishing did not go so well. One of the lines got caught in the propeller. I spent like two hours diving with a knife, trying to get it cut out. It was absolute nightmare. There's still a little bit down there, I just can't get it off. And it's molded into this kind of weird rubbery thing. I don't know if it mix in with a seal and that's gone and there's water leaking, I don't know. Yeah, not the best first day fishing. I managed to catch myself. Little did I know that this seemingly small incident would cause me serious problems down the line. So we just took a mooring around the corner and we took the dinghy and went to this little bay called Dragon Bay up the coast. We found this little hut kind of place where they're selling cold beers. And they said the nearest food is the capital. We'd have to take a bus. So we asked if there's anything you could do. So they found a grill. One of the guys offered to go get some fish. So we're going to have a meal. Maybe, yes. Cheers. Like it. What kind of fish is it? It's tuna. Oh, tuna. Tuna fish. Oh my god. I love it. Hey guys, cheers. 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 <laughs> hey, yo, man. Welcome to Max Bar. We got a bit of rum. There's a bit more rum. Fresh ice, man. Straight from the island across the way. So, the bar is open. What will be your orders? Rum and coke, rum and coke. You don't have any other options. Yes. <laughs> Let's go with the rum. Okay. I'll go easy there, man. Alright. <sighs> First day sailing and it was uh, quite the adventure. All right, mom, tell us about your day. Oh, fact, there's a bit of a swell. Swell? It wasn't swell at all. I was flying across <laughs> like this, like a bad woman. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Dad, how was your first day uh, sailing? I forgot that I knew all those Lord's prayers. <laughs> 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 So morning, day two. Just left Dragon Bay, now heading for Karyaku. Blocked here by some mountains on the uh, the Lee coast, so we're motoring up till the north. I'm gonna hug the coast, and then make a beeline for Tyro Bay in Karyaku, and I'm hoping to be there by around five o'clock, so let's hope for the best. So I just put up a bit of uh, canvas there. We got an extra, a knot of speed now. Absolutely. Beautiful. <laughs> Just come around the north of the island now, and then we're going over here. So far in the distance, and we are finally sailing. Not so bad. But first, we had to get past Kickham Jenny. So Kickham Jenny is this underwater volcano, and it's known for throwing up a rough sea. Weather is starting to kick up now, a bit of rain, big, big swells, wind increasing, had to reduce, trim our sails a bit, can't really tell, but... Nah. It's getting a bit spicy. 
I was really surprised. I thought the Caribbean was supposed to be an easy place to sail. No. If my parents were scared from the day before, they were absolutely terrified on this trip. But finally, we got to Cariacou. And the first leg of our journey was completed. Our next stop, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. So anyway guys, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe, give us a thumbs up there. Until next time. <laughs>